Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I am looking at the Benton Casino because I am continuing my promenade walk vlog. And this video is starting exactly where the last one finished. That was with us looking at the casino over there and we're just passing Carling Gate. So let's continue walking on down here. The further north we get, there's going to be less hotels. Some hotels there, or rooms, or rooms on suite, and they have a lift. But a lot of these just sit like private apartments. Maybe they're holiday apartments. but we're we'll getting to the part now where we're sort of heading out of Blackpool and on towards this one. But I did promise that we would get the whole promenade. So that's what you're going to get. We're on number 86 now so there's not a long way to go until we get to the very end. There we have got the PNP Care Home. And that, well, it looks like a private house, but it's possibly apartments. Look at that ace balcony on the top floor with those big windows. Next door to that, Ace Balcony building, we've got 96 Windsor Park. So our number's going up again. I'm a little confused with the promenade number in here, folks. Yeah, 98, so the number's going up again. The Fossil Tree Hotel. So I wasn't really keeping an eye out for the numbers. is at Wolverton Avenue and that is Willow Lodge but I'm not going to be too concerned about the number two I'm just going to walk down here till I get to the end of the prom and that is where the illuminations finish or start depending on whereabouts the traveling from most street property sir, it look absolutely beautiful. And I'm sorry how noisy it is around here. But there's nothing I can do about the traffic to be honest, nothing at all. And I can't walk on the other side because there's nowhere else to walk. If I walk on the other side, I'll be walking behind all those illumination tableaus on that side so that really won't work that street is low for Avenue or low for Avenue all like that and now we're just really walking past Queen's Court which just has a lot of flats and apartments so I'm just going to get a little bit off of the salon walking down here a little bit faster and show you all these things we're not that far from the end now I don't think anyway Yesterday's video, when I went to buy my cat food, 
film won't believe what else I got I got some cinnamon bun coffee after all and the weird thing is I wasn't even searching for it because I'd given up ever trying to find it in Sainsbury's because they hadn't had it in for weeks and weeks so I just assumed they'd stop selling it but as I was walking around Sainsbury's I just happened to be walking down the coffee aisle glanced up and I saw they had some it was a little bit dearer than Morrison's in Morrison's it's labelled as in the sale £1.50 in Sainsbury's it was £2 but I do think £2 for eight sachets is a good deal so I treated myself and bought three packs but I'm going to limit myself to one cup a day so I just don't do power them all within a few days also I've actually been drinking tea which ugh, I hate tea but I don't want to drink too much coffee I'm trying to limit how much coffee I'm drinking to maybe one cup a day, two cups a day three maximum, definitely no more than three so I've been drinking tea I've got a few different kinds, I've got ginger tea, I've got a nighttime tea and I've got a ginger tea and oh, what can I say, they're probably lovely teas but I really don't like tea at all they're kind of not so gross, I mean I can kind of stomach them and get them down so I'm getting a hot drink but I really wish I could get a taste for tea but I just don't like it and I can't drink the ordinary tea bags you know the ones folks put milk in and sugar in and make like a brew I can't even stand that kind of tea I can sort of get down some of the infusion ones I mean they're not too revolting but still I don't really like them much The illumination collection fund that means we are getting towards the end now everybody getting to now Admiral Point and this is where the old miners home stands which now is fancy apartments I have filmed this fairly recently in one of my walks but I did want to make this promenade vlog a complete and comprehensive look at the whole promenade so we're going to move in a little bit and walk slowly past here so you folks can get a really good look at the entire building we're very near the end now anyway I can see the arch Ahead, setting out the end of Blackpool and the beginning of Brisbane. There's a big grand gates that leads to these properties. And here is the main building. So I asked this question in one of my older videos. If you were going to be given a choice, three apartments, you can have one in there or you can have one in there or one in there which would you pick and as much as I do love the old building I think it's so beautiful and I like how it's set further back you all know how much I like balconies so I would pick that top one assuming that top one is two floors the balcony and that little arch roof is part of the same apartment because if that's the case that would be the one I would pick because that one looks awesome anyway let's keep going because we're so close to the end now and my fingers are so cold they feel like they're going to drop off because I'm holding the camera and my hand just feels like it's frozen to the camera 
and I've just got to to see and I can see somebody on a jet ski wow I'm not going to even try and zoom in because I'll just get a grey blur but yeah somebody looks like they're on a jet ski out there I'm going to end this video now we are close to the end but if I try to film the whole thing in one video I think all the way to the end from here it's going to take too long and it will take ages to upload so I am going to bid you goodbye right now facing the minus home so thank you for watching please leave me a like and a comment and please subscribe and I shall see you all very soon in the next video Goodbye.